I trying very hard not to think about anything beyond what's happened thus far. People in Flint still very cautious after waiting 18 months for criminal charges to be brought back against those believed responsible for the city's water crisis. Kettering's Dr. Laura Sullivan served on the Flint Water Interagency Coordinating Committee and testified as an expert witness in the first round of criminal cases. As our Ann Perrette shares, she remains hopeful but has low expectations for justice moving forward. Dr. Laura Sullivan hasn't had a conversation with the new prosecution team since they took over in 2019. Having criticized their efforts early on, she tells me she's not sure if she would be called to testify again, but says if they asked, she would do so in a heartbeat. In the beginning, the, my, my motivation was really just for the people who have been, had been exploited and hurt, but they're, fr they're close friends of mine now. And yes, I've been affected too. And so now it, there's, a whole, there's a whole lot more motivation behind uh, doing everything I can to make sure that, you know, that we get some justice here. But to Dr. Sullivan, justice comes in two forms. The potential penalties these nine city and state employees are now facing for their alleged roles in the city's water crisis and accountability for their actions, which is what she's focused on. In a courtroom, standing before a judge and, and having it read or said what you did to the city. My deep hope is just that the public will see in a trial these individuals speak and their and the people that were affected speak. As a professor of mechanical engineering at Kettering University, the court deemed Dr. Sullivan an expert in the chemistry of metals and corrosion during the preliminary exams for former emergency manager Darnell Early and former Flint Water Department manager Howard Croft. That hearing happened in October 2018, led by special prosecutor Todd Flood. It was a slow process, but I felt like he was moving forward. And so my my hopes about justice really fell when he was uh, let go by the AG. Dr. Sullivan adds she wishes the new team would have been more transparent and provided a progress report at any point during these last 18 months. We're kind of in this moment of hopefulness, maybe something good is going to happen, but you know, it's, it's, it's just such a risk. I've, too many times in the past I've said, now, now it's going to be good. And then I've uh, watched and thought, oh my gosh, I was so wrong. In Flint and Perrette, ABC 12 News. Howard Croft and former Governor Rick Snyder are expected back in court tomorrow morning for pretrial hearings. Typically that involves figuring out their schedules and the prosecution will likely hand over their evidence to Snyder and Croft's defense teams. It's been four days since this new round of criminal charges were filed against nine former state and local officials. And here is a recap. The biggest name on the docket, former Governor Snyder facing two willful neglect of duty charges. Nick Lyon, the former Health Department director facing 10 charges, including involuntary manslaughter. And Snyder's top aide, Rich Baird, facing a perjury charge, which could mean 20 years in prison if convicted. The other six people face a range of charges, misconduct in office, willful neglect, and more.